everybody, Kaylee here, your Jones Assembly Barista, with a quick cold brew tutorial so you can do what we do in our house at your house. So we'll start with the basic things that you need that are pretty easy to find around your house. First of all, you're going to need some excellent coffee. Uh, we are proud users of Sincerely Coffee Roasters and freshly ground coffee, number one. Number two, you're going to want some cheesecloth. I've got this doubled over, big enough that's going to fit as much coffee as I need in there. So always do a little more. You can cut it down if you need to. A little string to tie off your coffee pouch. A vessel to brew in. I'm just using this uh, basic Rubbermaid plastic pitcher here. And to start, let's just say there's a different ways you can make cold brew, different ratios. You can make a concentrated batch that you cut with water as you make glass by glass. We actually use a one to eight ratio, which makes it ready to drink as soon as it's done brewing. So, a little bit of math. One part coffee, eight parts water. So I'm dosed out 250 grams of medium ground coffee to two liters of water. So here we go, we've got a nice, just kind of medium grind, something you'd use for a French press. Already dosed out 250. I've got my cheesecloth kind of in a bowl to help me control what's going on. So here we go, coffee's all nested, and a beautiful cheesecloth. Bring the tips of it together, bunch it up, and then tie it off with a string. Now you want to leave some room in there. You don't want it like super tight like this. You want to make sure that water is going to be able to permeate that entire coffee bed. So leave some room. And you don't need to do any fancy bows or anything like that, just like a good knot that you know that will not come undone. I'm just going to take this and then just like drop it right in. Now I've already measured out my 2,000 milliliters of water or 2 liters. And I'm just going to pour it on. I'm doing whatever I can to make sure that all that coffee is getting wet in there. lid on there and it's gonna go in the fridge now again there's different ways to make cold brew different brewing times some are like 24 hours 16 uh, we do ours at 18 because we just found that's how we like it so I'm gonna set the time let's say it's 9 30 a.m. which means we're gonna pull it at 3.30 tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. that is. So, I think that's right, right? Pretty sure. Uh, so now, now we just wait. 18 hours later, it's time to pull the cold brew. Grab your handy dandy seat, fish out your coffee bed. Just let it drain. Now, I wouldn't really want to squeeze this too much. Uh, it's going to get a lot of extra sediment and coffee fibers in the brew. If you're into that extra body, give it a squeeze. And there you have it. Lovely glass. Cold brew. One more thing, I'm going to share with you uh, something awesome that Jones Assembly is doing. They have put together an awesome GoFundMe account to help support all of the put out of work people. 
since our lovely pandemic has hit and everyone's in quarantine. So if you're feeling uh, generous and froggy, please, you know, go fund us. Thank you guys.